Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. So today we're going to be doing a paracord bracelet with a buckle. Now I already have on the website a paracord bracelet without a buckle, but recently I did an event and we actually made them with buckles and I searched everywhere to find a tutorial that showed you how to do it with a buckle and I could not find it and it made me crazy. So I thought, you know what I need to do? I need to make a video about paracord bracelets with the buckle. So. I am going to show you how to do it with a buckle. For this project, you will need eight feet of paracord, 550 pound weight, scissors, a 3 8 inch buckle, paper clip, measuring tape or ruler, clipboard, and a lighter. The thing about paracord that you should know is that for every inch of bracelet that you want, you're going to need 13 inches of cord. So to make a seven to eight inch bracelet, which is about normal for when you have a buckle, you're gonna need about uh, eight feet of cord. Now, when you do eight feet of cord, let me show you how big that is. That is a lot of cord, that's a lot. So for this video, just so you guys can see it and it's very clear and you can understand it and it doesn't take us an hour to do, uh, I'm going to only be making a three inch little buckle bracelet. But as you can see, you know, that's a lot of cord. But once you get the hang of it, you can make one of these in about 10 minutes once you get, once you get the rhythm down. I'm also going to be doing this upside down from my perspective so that you guys get it for the right perspective. The first thing you would do is you would measure your wrist and you would use the measuring tape to measure your wrist. And I'll show you how you would set this for your wrist, but then I'm going to reset it to do it for a three inch bracelet, just so it doesn't take us forever and you get to see it all the way through. So I got my little cheat sheet right there. Let's do ours, let's do ours out of blue. So for my three inch one, my three to four inch one, I'm actually only gonna need four feet. So I'm gonna measure 24 inches and fold that in half and that gives me my 48 inches that I need for four feet because four feet is 48 inches. What you want to do is cut those edges so that they're nice and solid. And take your buckle. You want to take this at the center part where you folded it over. So see how I folded it over? I got this little loop here. Pinch that loop down with your fingers. Try to flatten it out because you're going to slide it through the buckle. It doesn't matter which end of the buckle you slide it through, but you're going to slide it through the buckle. And this is where, if you, if you need to, you can use a paper clip that I mentioned to just help push it through. Pull that through, and then you just need a little bit. It's kind of like a tongue. See how you got a tongue there? Then pull these two sides and push them through that tongue. So one more time, you got your tongue, take your two loose ends, pull it up and through, and pull it tight. Now here's where you measure your bracelet. So wrap it around just like you would if you were making a bracelet. And this is to make sure that you get it going in the right direction, don't get any um, tangling. You're gonna come up from the top. So we're gonna put in one. And two. Just make sure these don't get crisscrossed. So they come through like this. This is where you would uh, measure your bracelet. And this is what I was telling you I would show you how to do. So you would take this and get your wrist in here and tighten it up to the point where it feels good for you. And then just pop this open. And that's gonna be the perfect length. Now for me, I'm actually going to make this much shorter. I'm going to go to about three inches, actually. Yep, three inches. Take your end with the, looses, the loose pieces and stick that underneath the clipboard. Now in your case, you're going to be working this way, okay? I'm going to work upside down so that you guys can see what it would look like from your side. You always start over. Over is always going to be the way you start. 
and you always use your right hand side. Unless you're left handed, then you can do left. But you're always going to be starting your stitch from the right hand side. Imagine that this is your body and these are your two arms. You're going to take your first arm and put it over the body. Then you take your other arm and you put it over that arm. Now you go under the body and through the hole created by the other arm. Now you should see a pretzel. See the pretzel there? Pull. And you want to pull that really super tight. Flip this over. Now it says under, right? So you take this arm, you go under the body. This arm goes under the arm. You go over the body and through the elbow, basically. There's pretzel and pull. You're now starting to make your cobra stitch. Flip that over so that now you remember it's over, over, under the body and through. Flip it over. Under, under, over, and through. Flip it over. Over, over, under, and through. You're always getting that pretzel. Flip it over. Under, under, over, and through. Flip it over. See how that helps you to remember which direction? Because that's the one thing that people have a tendency to make mistakes on. And you know, if you do make a mistake, it's no big deal because you can just come back and just pull the stitch out. It comes out nice and easy. These survival bracelets were actually created, so now we're gonna go over. These survival bracelets were actually created so that you could take them apart, and when you took them apart, you would have eight feet or more of paracord that you could use while you were, you know, they call them survival bracelets. So while you were out in the wilderness, you could actually use that eight feet to, you know, help tie up a tent or, you know, put up a bear bag or whatever. Um, and it would help you survive, basically. Okay, we're at our last stitch here. So we're going under, we go under, over, and through. I'm going to tie this off really, really tight. Now we get to seal it up. And I know, this is a tiny little bracelet. I don't even know if it'll has enough to go around. It does. This is like for the tiniest little creature in the world to wear as a belt. Okay, I'm going to cut this pretty close and cut this pretty close. We're going to be using a um, click, what I call click click glider. This is definitely something where you want adult supervision. I'm going to get in here so that my cameraman can get really close in here because what we're going to do is we're going to put on our torch here and we're just going to lightly touch it to this end here and watch what happens. It's going to start to melt just like that. And that's going to seal it. And you're going to do this on the other side as well. If you are afraid to use the flame, which is totally fine, um, you can also put like a little drop of hot glue. You could do a little drop of hot glue. So there you can see those are a little sealed. And that's all there is to making your paracord bracelet with a buckle. In fact, I have to tell you, I find that this is actually easier than the original way that I taught, which used two different colors. Because for some reason, the way that the mathematics work out for this one, for, the, for how you measure the, the um, paracord, just for some reason computes much easier to me than, than the other one, which is a lot more of, oh gosh, figuring out the, di the distances and the lengths. For more fun ideas like this, check us out, sophie-world.com. And for all of the supply lists, just check the link below, and that'll tell you what exactly you need and where you can buy this fabulous, fabulous paracord. I get mine at paracordgalaxy.com. And if you like us, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And hey, share us with your friends. Subscribe. Let people know that we're making some really fun stuff here. sophie-world.com.